Hello my brothers and sisters, today um, I'd like to make this video because it's been a while since I um, posted a video here on, uh, on Google Plus and YouTube. Uh, the title of this video is uh, Run the Race. Uh, I remember when I came to Christ, the Lord gave me a dream that I was swimming and the water was filled with jellyfish. And there was uh, this other uh, uh, kid or individual right next to me and we started swimming. Um, and it was like a competition. Uh, I started swimming really fast, but whenever I would I would um, put my head on the water, the jellyfish will uh, will hit my face, and they'll start. My face will start itching. You know, uh, it, it was a very odd dream, but at the end, I I got the first place, and at the end, I made it on time. Uh, like I was saying, the title of this video is "Run the Race," my friends. Don't fade away. Don't stop doing good things for God. Uh, yesterday I went uh, I went preaching and I actually had a sister in Christ uh, drive over and we started speaking to one one to another and she shared with me her testimony and it was amazing. Uh, really, you know, every single uh, brother sister's uh, testimony increases my faith a lot. And it was the Lord's will for her to uh, drive off and actually uh, speak to me. And we actually, she actually willfully, from her heart, gave me, um, I mean, she asked for my number and I gave it to her. And I was going to get to her, I was going to get her number, but I actually didn't get it. All right. So I'm hopefully God willing, she would text me and she was willing to go and preach with me, which is awesome. You know, seeing a uh, sister in Christ preach the word of God on the streets and I was preaching really close here to my place uh, because yesterday like at 3 or 4 there's always a lot of traffic so I don't want to waste time so it went really close to my home here on a very busy intersection 40th street here in Miami Bear Road uh, yeah the title of this video is run you know run the race run the good race of faith Never give up, my friends. Every single day, be you have to be led by the Spirit of God. But it's every single day of your life, even if you don't want to do anything for God, do something. Share share scripture verse. When you see someone on the streets, give him five dollars. Preach them Jesus. Tell them, hey, can I pray for you? I like to pray for you. You know, uh, I'm actually working right now. But I've been working in this job for like two months. But I'm actually going to leave this job because the Lord told me, uh, you know, to leave this job. That there are better things for me to actually do. And in this job, I really exposed darkness. Like a lot of people changed. And I actually, um, I actually learn a lot of things. God has humbled me more. Because I work at a grill, you know, like cooking chicken, and uh, the grill is so hot that he has he has shown me how uh, hell is like a hundred times more hotter than than that, you know, possibly a thousand times more hotter than that. So he has really brought humbleness to my soul. Now, what I've been working on uh, right now in my faith has been. Uh, like anger issues because in this job I have people like uh, falsely accuse me gossip against me behind my back and stuff like that and I treat them as friends and I the Lord says I was I was using the scripture that the Lord says do good things to those who falsely accuse you persecute you you know that hate you do good things to your enemy and you will set calls on their on their heads you know you will set heaps of coals on their heads, hot coals. So that's what I do. I tell them, hey, can I take out your trash? Can I help you with, you know, these bags of chicken? Uh, can I help you out on something? I treat them like brothers, you know. And But I do not come near them in terms of uh, conversations about the world. I don't, I don't deal with it. I have nothing to talk about the world. I only want to talk about the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is a very difficult job in terms of uh, the people that work there, the gossipers, even the managers. Uh, I had the manager tell me things like, 
you know, I pay you here to do your job. And I told them, no, your honor, the one that pays me is God. You have nothing. All you do is just come to work, check people, check on people that are working, and that's it. The one that pays me is God, and I work every single day for my paycheck. You know, so in terms of faith, I'm very strong in the faith of the Lord. But in terms of anger issues, it really bothers me when people mock God. And I really don't talk to the people that mock Him and things like that. The Lord really protects me a lot. Uh, he gives me a lot of uh, uh, spiritual blessings. I go to work sometimes with a huge smile. I come back out uh, kind of tired, but I still remain hopeful that the Lord will, will um, you know, provide me again with a smile that I you know that I went in the job again because uh, people hate it most people of the world that do not have Jesus they hate seeing a smile on your face they hate seeing you happy most of them hate it they can't stand it and uh, so they want to remove that smile from your face but I really don't care anymore because I know the Lord wants me to leave this job to go forward I can find something else and it will be fun. It will be another experience in my life. Uh, I do thank the Lord for providing me this job uh, for a long time, almost like two months. It's not a, that that much of a long time, but it's like two months, almost three months now. But the Lord has shown me, and He has a uh, through experience in this job. He has shown me that I must keep good works every single day because I will start fading away. He showed me that. And I was not fading away in terms of faith, in terms of uh, praying, but I was actually uh, not working for Him a lot like I used to before. Like I would just go in the streets like two or three times a week. And now uh, I actually do it like once every other week, which is not good. I wanted to do it more and more often. Because whenever I go preaching, uh, God sets me on fire and He works through me and He tells people that the gospel of Christ, that the Lord died on the cross for our sins that He has conquered death for us. That the wrath of God does not abide in those who believe in the Son of God that justifies. You know? And uh, things like this. And He has also shown me how light exposes darkness in a, a working envir environment. Like a lot of people who used to harass all the girls and uh, uh, who used to say bad words, they don't say them anymore and they don't, do not harass other people. They try to. But they have shame in them because I have exposed darkness. I spoke with a manager about this bunch of kids who were uh, touching this girl and a lot of things changed. Uh, although some people came against me, and uh, but I always have the blood of Christ protecting me. And I had to explain to them why it was wrong for them to do that. Because the girl was not willing for them to touch them. But she was uh, in, a, in a circle of fear. She couldn't come out on herself. So I actually gave her a hand. Uh, my friends, I'm still going strong forward with the Lord every single day of my life. The Lord has well shown me that whenever, uh, you know, because I always do the sinner's prayers. Uh, look at me, the sinner's prayer. Um, the Father's the Father's prayer in the morning. Uh, and in the morning at night. And obviously, if I have any sin in my life, I'm going to go do... I'm going to pray against it and say, Lord, forgive me for doing this. I rebuke the devil in Jesus' name, etc., etc. But he was showing me that just not that by just saying the Father's prayer every day is not enough. That I should be always praying, always singing beautiful songs in my mind, always being focused on Him. Always. You shouldn't remove your faith, remove your mind from God. You should always remain focused on Him. Because He says, He, he, he has shown that to me. Like one day I went to work and I was feeling like I was crumbling away. And I went to the back section of this. Uh, uh, it's like a, like a place that they put like plates and stuff like that. And uh, I actually had to kneel down and pray to God so that He would refresh my spirit. And I could feel the refreshment coming down upon me. So the Lord has shown me to keep good works, to pray without ceasing. To sing beautiful songs in your mind to Him. That's what I've been doing. And every time that you have a smile, people are going to try to grab it. They're going to they're gonna try to bring doubt, fear, negativity in your life. Hate, anger, envy. They're going to gossip. 
So you must remain focused on God always because sometimes they'll get to you. Sometimes they will get to you and you will have to bend your knees over and over again and ask the Lord for forgiveness if you get angry. Ask the Lord for more faith, more strength, more spiritual discernment, more patience, more meekness, more self-control in your life. I need all those things more and more and more. I do have them, but I need them more and more and more and more, more enhanced. So, run the good race, my friends. Don't stop working for the kingdom of God. You start working for the kingdom of God, you start praying, and little by little you will just fade away like the wind. You will fade away like the flower of the field in the book of Psalms. You can't stop. You got to keep going every day. It is a daily battle every day. Let the next day of your life worry about itself. Don't worry about the next day. Don't worry about tomorrow. Let the day, let the, you know, let tomorrow worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Just live your life day by day focused on God. Do the things that please Him. If you fall in sin, get back up. Get on your knees. Call upon the Lord and He will set you free. He will refresh your spirit. If you're not getting your blessings fast, seek the Lord more. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep, keep those good works you know, towards the kingdom of God. Keep them forward. Keep them going. Keep them, you know, are running down through the narrow road along with you and in front of our God. Keep them just going along with you through the narrow road towards the kingdom of God. Don't stop, my friends. Run the good race of faith. Don't stop. You bless my brothers and sisters in Jesus' name.